I'm your Jackson neighborhood reporter, Daria Sudris. The Jackson County Sheriff's Office says it has cracked a case of swatting that triggered a police response to multiple Jackson County locations. Grass Lake Superintendent Nick Angel says it started with an email. Potential bomb threat over on our school premises. That named one of our former students um, as the initiator of the emails. Officials say it was one of many similar reports, not just in Michigan, but around the country. One of the suspect's targets, Grass Lake High School. Luckily, that email came on a Sunday, October 13th. No students in school. Nevertheless, Angel says the entire Grass Lake School's campus was searched by state and local law enforcement. The Sheriff's Office says four other school districts in our neighborhood received similar threats, as well as a doctor's office. We ended up searching several schools um, and taking emergency precautions um, because of the swatting calls. Swatting is the act of making false reports of threats to get a SWAT team to respond. Jackson County Under Sheriff Christopher Simpson says Detective Kelly Abersole figured out that these messages weren't coming from a former Grass Lake student, but from a teenager in Cape Coral, Florida, impersonating him. He tried to disguise himself, you know, pretty crafty in doing so. Um, but through search warrants and an investigative team effort, um, she was able to locate him. Florida is undertaking the prosecution, and the sheriff's office here will support that, says Simpson. He adds that this kind of pranking is very costly, and law enforcement takes it very seriously. We will prosecute to the fullest if anybody is associated with, you know, these type of swatting calls. In Jackson, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Daria Sudris, Fox 47 News.